Hello, and welcome to another edition of All Things Dairy. I'm Jim Carper, editor of Dairy Foods. Today's topic is the export market for dairy ingredients. In 2009, the Innovation Center for U.S. Dairy issued a groundbreaking report from the consulting firm Bain & Company. The U.S. dairy industry could help fill in the expected demand gap only if it moved more aggressively in exports. The industry took notice and acted. The value of dairy exports have grown 21% per year, and the volume of exports has grown 13% per year. One dairy producer and processor that has seen the possibilities in the export market is Dairy Farmers of America. This farmer-owned cooperative based in Kansas City, Missouri connects 13,000 farmers in 48 states. The co-op has been a longtime champion of the export industry. DFA has been exporting since the organization's formation in 1998. The co-op exports whole and skim milk powder, whey, cheese, butter, and dairy beverages. Last year, DFA exports jumped 43%. In 2013, Dairy Farmers of America exported 222 million pounds of products to customers in 42 countries. This year, the co-op shipped to China the first cases of California Gold, DFA's name for a UHT shelf stable milk. Recognizing the potential in the export market, DFA built a powder plant in Fallon, Nevada, specifically to supply global customers. The co-op has also expanded overseas sales of long-life milk. For these reasons and more, Dairy Foods has selected Dairy Farmers of America to receive the Tom Camerlo Exporter of the Year Award. The award is named for the former head of the U.S. Dairy Export Council, who also served on the board of directors of DFA. The award is sponsored by the U.S. Dairy Export Council. DFA President and CEO Rick Smith presided at the ribbon cutting to open the new plant in Nevada. Found Nevada is known worldwide at this point, and that's only going to grow. That's only going to grow. Very, very exciting. This is the first plant of its kind in the United States, a plant dedicated from the ground up to supplying the world market with specifications that the world market, which is a little bit different than our domestic market, with, that, with, the, with the types of products made the, the way the rest of the world um, wants them. In one day, DFA employees can process 2 million pounds of raw milk into 250,000 pounds of whole milk powder. The powders are trucked to the port of Oakland and then loaded onto container ships that take the powder to China, Venezuela, and other countries. The products are used in infant formula, baked goods, yogurt, cheese, and other products. The impact of the new plant is felt here at home, too. Building the plant provided 300 construction jobs for two years. And now that the high-tech facility is up and running, 45 people have permanent jobs. The plant also has had a positive effect on the area's dairy farmers. The investment in Fallon has enabled Perrazzo Brothers Dairy to expand from 500 to 1,600 cows. Daniel Perrazzo is a dairy farmer in Nevada and a supplier to Dairy Farmers of America. Um, with the market that we have, with the powder plant, with the foreign market, I mean, it, it, it's opened it all back up, um, even even way bigger than we ever, at least I ever anticipated. Um, where hopefully we're up around 1,600 to 2,000 cows. Um, when when I was younger, I was thinking maybe if we can get up to 1,000, I'd be happy. And so I mean, it, it, it's even it's even getting bigger than that. So the opportunity is there. It wasn't there 10 years ago, and why not? I mean. We've always wanted to grow, and here's our opportunity to do it. Tom Suber is the president of the U.S. Dairy Export Council. He said that year after year, exports have always been part of the DFA business mix, but progress has come slowly. Now, he said, persistence is nang off. Dairy farmer Alan Perrazzo explains what it means to supply the new plant. The cows I'm milking here, I'm sending milk clear on the other side of the world, and it's given protein and energy and nutrition to uh, uh, somebody clear on the other side of the world. It's, it, it is kind of amazing to me. I guess I'm proud to be a dairyman and proud to be able to produce a good, healthy, clean, nutritious product to feed the world. Congratulations to Dairy Farmers of America, the 2014 Tom Camerlo Exporter of the Year. That's it for this edition of All Things Dairy. Remember to follow us on Twitter and Google+. 
like us on Facebook, and stay up to date on DairyFoods.com. Thanks for listening.